In this video, we will demonstrate how to implement a CAN to USB bridge along with a CAN based host and bootloader application. For this demonstration, we will use the SAM E54 Explained Pro Evaluation Kit that contains the AT SAM E54 P20A microcontroller. This project is based on an ARM Cortex M4 based SAM E54 MCU. This kit has an onboard embedded debugger known as EDBG. For more information, watch the SAM E54 Explain Pro Evaluation Kit video or visit the kit page. To get started, clone the MPLAB Harmony V3 repositories and install the software shown here. You can use MCC Content Manager to clone these Harmony packages. If you are new to MCC, be sure to watch these videos. You can find the links in the video's description. Our objective in this video is to show and implement the CAN to USB bridge and the CAN based host and bootloader application using the SAM E54 Explained Pro Evaluation Kit. The setup includes three SAM E54 X Pro kits. One of the evaluation kits acts as the CAN host. The host development kit is programmed with a CAN based bootloader host application, while CAN nodes 1 and 2 are programmed with a CAN bootloader with distinct node IDs. As a part of the CAN USB bridge functionality, the CAN host reads the data transmitted on the CAN network through the CAN peripheral and displays it on the PC serial terminal window using the USB CDC virtual COM port. As a part of CAN based host and bootloader application, the CAN host sends the binary image to the required CAN node over the CAN bus for programming. To achieve this, we will set up the hardware, download the project from the kit page, open the project and launch MCC, check the peripheral configurations in the MCC, compile the project and see the output. Let us set up the hardware as shown to test functionality. There are two configurations for this demonstration, one with two nodes and the other with a single node. For both setups, connect the CAN host to your PC via a micro USB cable for power and debugging. Set up a virtual COM port by connecting another micro USB cable from the PC to target USB on the host kit. In the two node setup, similarly connect the second CAN node. To get started developing applications, open the web page for this evaluation kit shown here. Download the zip file for the application project which includes the demo firmware. First, extract the demo firmware and open the project in MPLABX IDE. Go to Tools, Embedded and open MCC which will open the project graph. Here you can see the various peripherals that has been configured for the SAM E54 MCU. Click on a peripheral block to see how the peripheral has been configured. If you want to configure other system specific peripherals, use the drop down menu under plugins and choose the system module you would like to configure. For example, to configure the clock, open the clock EC view window by clicking on clock configuration. Here you will see the main clock is set to the default frequency of 120 MHz. Select the pin configuration option. In the pin settings tab, you can easily view the pin configurations made for this application. You can use MCC to add another peripheral, reconfigure the project and generate the code. You can use MCC Content Manager to clone or download the Harmony packages or upgrade the existing packages anytime. You can go to the project configuration path anytime and check the various files to understand how the project is implemented. Under Project Properties in MPLABX IDE, select the target kit in the Connected Hardware Tool drop-down, then click OK. You can now use the MPLABX IDE to build your project and program the evaluation kit. After programming, the board should get detected as USB Virtual COM port in the Device Manager. Open a terminal application on your PC such as TerraTerm and set up the serial port. Make sure that the connected CAN node is programmed with the CAN FT interrupt application. To test the application in the data logger mode, we must transmit CAN messages from the connected CAN nodes. Use the CAN FT interrupt example to program the CAN node. This example application shows how to use the CAN module to transmit and receive CAN FT messages in interrupt mode. Open the terminal to send the CAN FT messages from the CAN node. Now, we can see the data logging happening on the host terminal window. 
on the host terminal type conf conf to view the configuration options in the host enter the choice of mode to perform either can bitrate change or firmware update select change can bitrate to change the nominal bitrate and the data bitrate as per application requirement select the programming mode to program the mcu after selecting the programming mode choose the node to program based on the node id led 0 on the host development kit will be turned off once the choice of node is entered by default the can bootloader is configured with the node id 0x45a close the terminal application and run the python script to parse your hex file the syntax and an example for running the python script is shown on the screen enter the com port number of the usb can bridge that is the host device. Press the button SW0 on the host to program the CAN node with the test app CAN .bin file. Once the programming is completed, LED0 on the host development kit will be turned on, indicating success. Now you can see the CAN FT demo with the options for transmitting CAN messages in the CAN node 1 console. Select an option of a CAN message to be transmitted to the bridge. Now we can see the data being logged in the host console. CAN bitrates can be changed by using the option 5 in this application. Try changing the CAN bitrates from the node and check the data logging. Make sure that the CAN bitrates are configured in the host kit. Similarly, you can connect the second node in the setup by programming the node with a different node ID that is 0x45b. You can use a different test application such as test app LED which is present in the SAM E54 CAN USB bridge firmware folder. Navigate to the link shown on the screen for more application demos for the SAM E54 Explained Pro Evaluation Kit or other development boards or kits through the MPLAB Discover. Also, please visit microsoft.com slash harmony to learn more about MPLAB Harmony V3 features, benefits and other information. We hope you enjoyed this brief demonstration. Thanks for watching.